One of the most prominent speculations surrounding the reboot appears to have been finally disproved with the appearance of Perry Gilpin's Roz Doyle in Frasier Season 2. After the actor who played Martin Crane, John Mahoney, passed away and David Hyde Pierce declined to reprise his role as Niles Crane, it appeared like Kelsey Grammer's Dr. Frasier Crane would be the sole original Frasier Frasier character to return for the reboot. But in the first season finale of the Frasier reboot, Jack Cutmore Scott's character Freddy surprises his father by asking Roz to their Boston Christmas party. Naturally, Roz and the lead character of the show have a lengthy past together. Roz has been Frasier's buddy for a long time and is the producer of the Dr. Frasier Crane show on KACL 780. The exceedingly sardonic Roz first disagrees with Frasier. The two's conflict at work gradually evaporates and they get closer. Ross starts to suspect that Frasier has unrequited affections for her in Frasier Season 3, Episode 22, Frasier Loves Roz, which leads to a humorous chain of miscommunications. But in Season 9, right after Roz split up with her long-term spouse, she does have a sexual encounter with Frasier. Even though they decide to stay friends, the two still have a romantic chemistry in the reboot. Theories regarding a romance between Frasier and Roz have existed from the early seasons of the original program. Dr. Crane ends up following Charlotte to Chicago in the Frasier series finale. Although the reason behind Charlotte's departure is not fully disclosed in the Frasier reboot, it appears that the pair never got married, leaving Frasier alone when he moves to Boston and uproots his life once more. Although a Roz Frasier relationship is now possible, the original series seemed firmly opposed to the notion. Indeed, in season 9, after the pals share a bed, Roz gets scared and leaves for her own room back in Wisconsin. The Roz guest visit in the Frasier reboot doesn't happen until the very end of season one. The title character of the sitcom is relieved to see a familiar face who actually knew his late father, Martin, when she surprised Frasier at Christmas. Roz mostly comforts Frasier on his first Christmas without Martin. Still, following the season one conclusion of the reboot, Frasier and Roz's relationship seemed more likely. Since they are both unmarried, they experience some loneliness. All of this suggested a rekindled romance, as did the announcement that Gilpin will play a bigger part in season two. Roz makes a reappearance in the third episode of the Frasier reboot, all about Eve but her potential for a romantic relationship with Frasier is seldom discussed. Episode three is focused on Eve, Freddy's friend who is parenting a child alone, as the title suggests. Initially, Roz, who ends up at the apartment building when arrangements with her own daughter fall through and the rest of the gang are treated to a fantastic night out planned by Frasier. Eve's fellow single mother Roz demands a girl's night out when she notices how worn out Eve is. In addition to spending most of the episode with Eve and the other Boston ladies, Roz also has a date with a different man. Although it's evident that she and Frasier remain good friends, there is no hint of a romantic relationship in the third episode. Concurrently, Roz is thinking of relocating to Boston, which would facilitate the development of a roz Frazier relationship. Not to mention, a few stills from season two hint to amorous scenarios involving Roz and Frazier. Though those stills might evoke Frazier loves Roz one can never be certain of what lies ahead. In the sixth season of the original series, Frazier makes another mistake by thinking that Roz wants to enter into a backup marriage agreement. Frazier believes that the plan is for them to just get married if they are both single by a specific age. Roz explains that she was truly going to recommend they kill each other when he shows enthusiasm in the notion. While Roz's gloomy humor steals the show, Frasier has always hinted at the couple's long-lasting and intense bond. In light of the entire Frasier series, it appears that friendship is preferable for Frasier and Roz. It does feel a little stale as the will-they-won't-they they relationship between the prospective couple shape multiple episodes of the original series. Furthermore, the reboot doesn't seem to be interested in offering any conclusive insight into Frasier and Roz's possible future, despite the fact that fans have long pondered why the two never ended up together. Despite the fact that a platonic bond between the two is the more interesting plot point, the Frasier reboot appears to be leaving that narrative door open. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.